Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. One of the officers who refused an 80,000 kwacha bribe. Meet Detective Constable Suwale Kefas from Police Headquarters, Forensic Department. A young and dad working officer who is fully focused on his work. These are the officers who deserve to be rewarded and promoted together with other police and immigration officers who are involved. He is one of the officers who refused to be bribed. Police and immigration officers yesterday turned down 80,000 kwacha bribe from a suspected smuggler after he was apprehended during a joint operation conducted in Misisi and Matero East. This follows an operation in which the Zambia Police and the Department of Immigration apprehended 16 Ethiopians and 4 Zambians after a tip-off from members of the public. In a joint statement by police and immigration spokespersons Rea Monga and Namati Nshinka, the joint team initially apprehended seven Ethiopians and two Zambians, Edward Mutale, 28, and Rodwell, Bwadia, 36, at a named guest house in Mrs. Compound. At the time of their interception, the group was in a Mitsubishi Pajero, registration number AID 3756, and a Toyota Arion, registration number BAB 7251. From the conversation between Edward Mutale and an identified person in Zimbabwe, they were set to leave the guest house for Zimbabwe and finally to South Africa. However, further investigations led the team to another group of nine Ethiopians and two Zambians, Boston Walia 30 and Boniface Nyerenda 59 at Heroes Stadium. They were waiting for further instructions from Edward Mutale. The second group was in a Toyota Regis, registration number BAB5281, reads statement. However, upon realizing the gravity of his situation, Edward Mutale offered the officers 80,000 kwacha to release him, but to no avail. <laughs> Mr. Amonga and Mr. Nshinka said 16 suspects are currently detained at the Lusaka Central Police Station while the three vehicles have been impounded. The Ethiopians were in the hands of a highly coordinated syndicate because the suspected smugglers meticulously planned their transportation. Had it not been for the accurate information received from the members of the public, they would have probably successfully transported them to their intended destination. We will continue to work closely with each other and most importantly with members of the public to detect and disrupt criminal efforts, reads the statement. More news to come my lovely viewers, make sure you subscribe to this channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and also turn on the bell icon to join the notification squad. For now, I'm out. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.